Welcome to Odd. I'm Dog. Wait. Today we're going to be learning how to draw a dog. For this instance, I decided to start with quite possibly the, the doggiest dog, the Golden Retriever. The lovable dumb jock of dogs. As you can see, this is the candidate. Use references! We're going to be using very advanced anatomical terms here, such as the floppity ears and the delightful butt floof pants. The Retriever has a very blocky body. It's sort of a rounded rectangle triangle thing. A parallelogram might actually be the best word for that. Attach another sort of rectangle triangle thing to the body at a slight angle for the neck. To block out the head, we're literally going to make a block. Seriously. Draw the block. Okay, now cut that block roughly in half. Draw another rectangular block coming out of the bottom half of that block. Round out the point to make the snooshy face. The nose is sort of like when two triangles finally unite at the edge of the snout. When the mouth is closed, the snoosh covers the chin. The mouth sort of curves into a smile in a relaxed state, which just perfectly suits this dog. Ignorance is bliss, and this dog has not had a thought in a day in its life. An eye sort of looks like a really fat almond from the front, so we're going to cut it in half. Not literally, oh my god! And that's going to be the rough shape of our eye in profile. Dogs are descendants of wolves, and they refuse to let us forget that, even though... Come on. Regardless, they're predators, so the eye is going to be really close to the front of the head. Leave a little bit of space for that meaty noggin. Right behind the eye, we're going to put the floppity ears. They're kind of like triangles? Really, really messed up triangles? It's more like a square with a triangle at the end of it. The first half of a dog's body is ribs, so have the bottom half sort of taper off, leaving a weird kind of vehicle shape. Now we could leave our golden retriever as a flying saucer, but they would like some legs. Yes, I spoke to the two-dimensional dog. Dogs, comparative to humans, because we're totally not self-centered, technically walk on their fingers and toes. Call this digitigrade, because digit. Or fancy little tiptoes. People walk on our feet, unfancily, alongside bears, most rodents, and more than a few marsupials. This is called plantigrade. If you want to make a bear artist real mad, draw a bear with the jittergrade feet and four toes. Use references! This means, respectively, the most of the front leg that we see here is forearm, and the main part of the back leg is foot. That little drumstick that sticks out when they sit? Yeah, that's the whole knee and thigh. It's especially prominent when they try to sit like some sort of weird homunculus on the couch. The paw has been sort of like if you were to cup your hand, but just your fingers. Don't overthink it too much, just draw more triangles. Now, for the tail, we're going to draw sort of an oblong tear shape. Of course, it's going to be wagging, our dog is happy to finally have a lower half. Erase any construction lines. Or don't, I'm not your mom. And fix any sizing mistakes that you totally didn't make while trying to record a tutorial, odd. Goldens, of course, are known for their luxurious hair, which was spun by a young woman who later stole the breed from Rumpelstiltskin. Don't look this up, it's a pure fact, okay? The Shade Retriever does not, in fact, look like a Labrador. They look horrified. Put it back! Honestly, the best advice I could give you here is that fur or hair should probably be viewed in clumps first instead of individual strands. You will save yourself so much agony. Don't forget the especially furry tail or the delightful floofy pants. They're not necessarily necessary, but highly recommended. Use references! Structurally, our doggo is complete. Erase any extra sketch lines at anything else you think is necessary. Here's another little tip, a little secret art tip for you. Top secret, coming closer. Your art style, it's how you best utilize these things. Art is just making a believable fake version of what you see. Whatever is the easiest way for you to do that is what your style is. Don't tell anybody. Good dog.